Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies, and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. What's well, good? Hopefully you guys are off to a good start of the week. I know a lot of stuff has been happening with the worldwide celebration and whatnot, and I really haven't had a chance to go back in and, and talk about this, but initially when I posted uh, just asking everyone what your most obscure rainbowed unit was, it seemed like it was quite popular, and uh, you know we ended up deciding to uh, create a part two thread. Uh, that way you guys can submit the... Um, you know, outrageous rainbow units in the game and just kind of show off some of your uh, trophy items, so to speak. So again, this will be part two. I do appreciate you guys, you know, participating in this, this kind of stuff. It does really make, you know, the conversations and topics quite interesting. So with that being said, let's dive right into it. Now, I did tell Nolar uh, in part one, include his unit. I guess he forgot to. So uh, I made sure to, <coughs> I made sure that he would talk about it this time around. Let's take a look. So this is why I wanted to include this as the uh, very first unit to talk about because of how absurd it is in terms of like actually having the sky rainbowed. Now, for those unfamiliar, this was part of the Arale banner, basically the Penguin Village adventure like crossover or you know portion of the manga. And General Blue at the time, you know, or any of the units, to, you know, if we're being honest, uh, were before the potential system actually rolled out so of course nobody really knew about you know the unlocking the dupe paths or whatever and you know if you got dupes for a copy of a unit you essentially just fed it to the SA and that's pretty much what most people did and a lot of people regret but I guess Nolar in his terms quote unquote he was just being lazy and uh, decided not to uh, you know SA fodder the, the, the copy so fortunately this guy has a rainbow but I feel like this that unit really is probably one of the, one of the few, if not only, rainbow general blue units in the game. I mean, I, I find it hard to believe that anybody else would really have that. Maybe there are some, but it's probably not as commonly known. Now, I don't know why why Toon Rami's uh, talking some shit here. I made sure to shout out his channel on his uh, on on part one with his units, but you know, Toon is being just being Toon. All right, Mini Diamond, let's take a look at your stuff here. Uh, a lot of the, uh, um, you know, anniversary and uh, commemorative units uh, are rainbowed, which, you know, personally I do like doing as well, like the, um, you know, uh, Frieza unit that was given out to the losers, I think, along with, you know, the uh, Super Saiyan Goku that Global ended up getting. Uh, the five-year anniversary Super Saiyan Blue Goku obviously is a nice collector's item. April Fool's Yamcha, you can't really go wrong with that either. And, you know, a couple of the uh, free-to-play options, you know, very, very cool stuff, but yeah, April Fool's Yamcha is definitely one of the uh, trophy items, you know, honestly, if you can rainbow him, why not? Uh, looks like Nathan's got a few here as well. The um, AGL Super Saiyan Goku on the top left, you know, obviously that's one of the, you know, starting pack units. I'm, I'm guessing as part of nostalgia, you ended up rainbowing that guy. Uh, I do see a lot of the, uh, you know, um, type, you know, mono type support leads, like the Krillin, not leads, but support uh, tech Krillin, of course, and... You know, the uh, uh, Tech Piccolo is obviously, I think, one of those um, uh, starter pack uh, units, I believe. If not, it was a strike unit of some sort. But a lot of interesting ones here. Um, the one I like the most out of this is the uh, Tech Future Gohan. I'm personally a big fan of that card, even though it's severely outdated. But uh, hoping an EZA will eventually come around where uh, it does make the unit a lot more, a lot more viable. So RPM add-on, it looks like. Uh, Demigra, obviously, very nice troll unit to have. Decent skill sets, but um, you know, from a practical term, it's it's you know, obviously not something you necessarily want to rainbow. Badman Vegeta, you can't go wrong with that. It's always a good choice. Uh, the uh, Yudin, yeah, definitely. Uh, I've I've started to see this rainbowed a lot more frequently in the past, but uh, this guy, the the Boss Rabbit Monster Care, that's that's definitely one of my proudest uh, units that I rainbowed, and and honestly, it's all for shits and giggles. So. You know, it's a lot of fun. Uh, this guy, yeah, Chukto. Shout out to the uh, Int Final Form Cooler. That is definitely one I've also rainbowed just for uh, shits and giggles and um, severely outdated. I think passive was like attack increase of flat 2500. That was pretty much it. It'd be interesting to see though with the um, uh, link level updates that rolled out, you know, what kind of benefits that would have with some of the link sets. But, uh, you know, grinding for that, it'll, it'll take some time. So maybe I'll do that eventually. Uh, Bio Broly, you know, it definitely does have its uses, um, but um, in terms of, like obscurity, yeah, I, I, I would definitely include that on here. 
I mean, this guy's pretty good. At the time it came out, it was, it was a pretty solid unit, so I don't know if I would definitely, you know, necessarily classify, but, you know, these guys, you know, have their uses, but um, the uh, Bio Broly, you know, also does have a use, but um, they're definitely forgotten, I guess is a good point. <clears throat> this one, though, yeah, I've also got this guy rainbowed, but, you know, I don't, I don't know, like, you know, how much of a use this guy does have. On, on Universe 7, this guy's pretty decent, but, um... You know, I, I would imagine not many people have that unit rainbowed. Uh, let's see, Biter Tray, I guess. Um, a lot of the Cumber units, this should be the free-to-play. Uh, this is the uh, Baba Shop Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. I mean, pretty decent stuff. I mean, but obviously bottom, you know, lower on the uh, totem pole in terms of like the other units that are available in the game that are, that are better. Well, this is obviously Talon's favorite um, LR unit, so <laughs> not much to be said there, but yeah. A lot of these are, are definitely decent. Uh, looks like Aaron with a couple units. You know, the one out of this group I would classify as obscure probably is the Angel Frieza and the, um, um, you know, Angel Golden Frieza or Golden Frieza, I guess, whatever. But yeah, the ones on the top uh, are definitely ones that you necessarily wouldn't, you know, rainbow, but um, a lot of it, you know, was, was based on just, I would imagine, just having fun. I don't know, these guys look pretty good, so I don't know if I would classify them as uh, obscure rainbows. Maybe you're talking about the uh, the second um, copy of it. Maybe that's what you're going for, I don't know. Alright, looks like NPC Destroyer 26. A couple of these guys looks like the uh, free-to-play options. And um, certainly, um, you know, I, I wouldn't say a lot of people have rainbowed them, but like maybe the Gear unit, uh, plenty of people. I think this one came out with the own potential orbs, but... You know the uh, Videl unit uh, definitely. I, I would I would kind of somewhat see as a an obscure unit for for sure. Yeah, Batman Vegeta definitely a popular unit. Uh, looks like your boy a little big got bored one day. Yeah, this is definitely in the realms of obscurity. Um, I, I actually do like card arts like this, and it's it's a nice little throwback to uh, you know the uh, Dragon Ball Saga era, which which I personally love. It was a lot of fun reading through it and and whatnot. You know the manga itself, but. So here we go with a couple of good ones. We've got the uh, Super Saiyan uh, Blue Goku on the top right, as well as the um, uh, Broly on the top left. He does awaken into the uh, Super Saiyan 3 form, but you know a lot of these guys, like I, I completely agree. Like the uh, Tech Super Boo, obviously one I have rainbowed as well, and, and definitely, definitely obscure. Uh, the Angel Vegeta as well, you know, and, and whatnot. Funny story about the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, the AGO version. For whatever reason. Um, the SR version, I just kept and just kept raising SA and then <laughs> come to find out one of my oldest units ended up Dokkan Awakening into uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. That was actually a pretty happy day for me because I, I don't know, for whatever reason I ended up saving copies of it and, and raising SA. Alright, let's look at Remy. So this is always a, a cool thing to do, right? Just rainbowing the five year anniversary units and just running them on a team. Obviously, um, you know, the sixth slot is meant for a proper lead, like, you know, Super Saiyan, well, not Super Saiyan 4 Goku because uh, uh, the physical type's included on here, but, you know, whatever the case is, you can run a lead and um, run a team filled with anniversary units rainbowed, and that's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, a lot of these units fall under here as, as obscure uh, Tekka, Pinich, you know, the uh, free-to-play uh, Tapion unit, um, the uh, Goku on the top, bottom right. Uh, Pasta, I mean, she has her uses, so I think it's okay to, you know, have a rainbow. I did just kind of test around with the skill sets and whatnot, but the rest of the units definitely were uh, pretty damn obscure. Yeah, you're right about that. All right, let's see. What do you got here? Uh, these are good guys. I wouldn't classify them as uh, obscure. I mean, this guy also did get a pretty big uh, upgrade with you know the uh, abilities. Like Tech Final Form Cooler is definitely one that I would I would consider. I I actually like this guy a lot, and you know output wise it's not bad, but uh, it's definitely underwhelming compared to some of the other ones for sure. <clears throat> All right, let's see which one. Yeah, this is yeah, this is. Uh, I would definitely classify this as obscure. Um, yeah, that would definitely count. Hey, shout out to uh, the uh, free to play Meta Cooler team. It was a lot of fun to run. I um, had the uh, drunken uh, Super Battle Road race with uh, Nolar the other day, so um, that was a lot of fun. If you haven't seen it, definitely make sure to check that. Uh, but I did run the uh, full Meta Cooler team and, and rainbowed out max soul links for that. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, it's obscure to a degree, but it's a lot of fun to run that, too. 
All right, let's see who else. Yep, of course I would I would come across this at some point. The 777 day Hercule unit. Um, you know, you pretty much have to rainbow that guy. It just has, you know, commemorative uh, login, you know, celebration type deal. I mean, I don't know. Tech Jiren is also one that I did rainbow um, just to kind of test out and see how the unit would do. But of course, with so many different. Uh, well, not different, but like the strength version is obviously much, much better. So there's not really a reason to to rainbow the guy. But yeah, I, I definitely hear you on that. This looks like Paiku on here. From, yep, it, it, of course it is. Um, and uh, the Kimono Android 18. This was from the uh, 2018 New Year's celebration. So that is definitely one of the obscurities. I don't know if I would consider this guy though, because um, you know he's decent to a degree. Uh, yeah, but that this one definitely qualifies, and this one's a lot of fun too. I I think on JP it's actually either tech or int. I can't remember, but the typing's different between global and JP. All right, let's see what you got. Uh, this is Mushi Musa or M Musha. Yeah, I see a lot of good ones here, like Tarbo. You know, before that Dokkan Awakening happened, it was definitely obscure. Pinich is on here, the uh, Thouser as well. Um, I'm looking through like you know the other ones like uh, the Int uh, Goku carrying Kid Gohan. Um, yeah, a couple of these are definitely good. Baseball Yamcha obviously falls in that. Um, the uh, Yamcha Strength type card as well. A lot of these are, are really fun units. They're you know they're not really good performers by any means, but uh, it's just it's just a lot of fun to rainbow these guys. You know what I mean? It's just yeah that's what that's what it comes down to. It's just you know shits and giggles. Yeah. I think this one is Tekka, right? The agility version is Pinnage. I always forget the names, but I'm pretty sure that was uh, Dragon Ball Fusion. It's, uh, let, me, let me just say, it is a pretty big waste. I think Tekka did support allies to a degree. Maybe I'm thinking of Pinnage, but um, either way, they're not worth it. Yo, shout out to this one. I mean, honestly, I did rainbow this guy because um, I just loved the card art at the time, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, Free-to-play option, like, it was, it was definitely... Uh, you know, good one to rainbow, but it's it's definitely not, you know, up to par in current state. Uh, this guy, you know, it, you know, it, it, this unit could be so much better if, if they would make a minor update to it. But uh, maybe it will at some point. Of course, you know, again, the Goku, this is this is definitely uh, a trophy type item. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's the only way to look at it. Um, this one, yeah, I mean decent support back then but nowadays it's not as as prevalent of course you got way better versions of of Whis anyway nowadays this one is obviously um so outdated right now considering some of the better ones uh available you know this guy you know the free-to-play version um you know i you know, it's funny because i ended up rainbowing all the universe six units at, at one point when they first came out but yeah i mean i don't necessarily use them anymore so i guess in that regard it's definitely qualifies as that uh, this is, I think, for the four-year period of, um, you know, celebration of Dokkan. This uh, free-to-play Goku came out um, pretty decent. I, <clears throat> I, if I remember correctly, it gets better after, you know, HP levels go down and you get that extra boost. But, yeah, I mean, a lot of people probably don't use it. I, I guess, you know, obscurity and, you know, the definition of that really does range. Like, you could, you could classify that for units that you don't really use anymore or just flat out they were always bad type deal. Yeah, Borgo's great, Giant Ape, um, yeah, I can't really think of too many occasions where I, I run that unit, but... Yeah, this one's definitely, uh, this one's definitely up there in terms of, like, uh, obscurities. I don't think many people probably ended up rainbowing the guy just, just because of a, a usefulness standpoint, so... Um, let's see, what do we got here? The AGL Hellfighter 17, I'm pretty sure this is the one built in with a high chance of evading attacks, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's just keep going. This guy's actually pretty good. Um, it's well worth the rainbow on this guy, so I, I, I don't know about obscurity on that one. We got another 777 Hercule unit. This one is Batman Vegeta, obviously a popular pick. Uh, let's see, this is the physical type Super Saiyan 3 uh, GT Goku. Uh, pretty decent support for tech and physical types. Also does have Fierce Battle Link. Um, you know, it's not a terrible unit, but I, I, yeah, I mean, I certainly agree that uh, not many people probably went through the uh, the rainbowing process of, of that unit itself. So um, to that degree, I guess you can qualify that as well. This one, you know, I've got rainbowed and it's pretty much um, shits and giggles. I mean, obviously there are better versions of it. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's more or less for the uh, collector's edition. 
Uh, this one, I can't remember if um, they had their special individual orbs or you actually had to use the uh, physical type potential orbs for it. This one is more or less um, a proud collector's item, I think. Like, you know, I have this guy as well, and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually a, a great unit, like in terms of like the card art and overall skill sets. It's, it's not a bad unit by any means, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, great Saiyaman for the Oms and yeah, Super Saiyan Goku. I mean, they're decent free-to-play units, so I don't know if I would def def you know necessarily rule them out. Um, but this this one obviously it's it's uh, a collector's item deal, you know. Yeah, Kid Goku is definitely not gonna fall into that. Uh, he's a great unit, so I, I'm not gonna classify him as uh, obscure by any means. This guy, yeah, this guy's um, definitely. Um, uh, debatable or inclusion of the uh, debate itself for it, but yeah, a lot of good stuff. I mean, it's always fun talking about units that um, you guys rainbow that are that are in the realms of obscurity, and you know, you guys do similar shit where you know you do it for the shits and giggles and just have fun with it. You know, sometimes you got to step away. Like I like I say every time, sometimes you have to step away from you know the most uh, strong, powerful units and you know the best in the game and take a step back, enjoy life a little bit and troll troll around, you know, rainbow some some crappy units and you know sometimes it's fun and that's the way to look at it. So again, this is uh, round two or series number two out of the uh, uh, obscure, ridiculous rainbow units. I definitely do appreciate everyone's uh, participation on this. It makes the conversation again very fun and uh, lively commentary, so hopefully guys you did enjoy it. Maybe we'll do some down the road when new units come out or you guys have more resources on potential orbs and whatnot toward uh, you know investing in new units. But hopefully again, you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thanks again for you know all the submissions and, and whatnot on the thread. It was a lot of fun. Until next time, I guess I will catch you guys later.